Should you buy a home in today's market, given the fact that we are either in a recession or we're going into a recession? We're getting that question a lot. And it, it bears us breaking that down and kind of talking about what factors you should be weighing out in your life to see is now the right time for you to buy. Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty. And when there's uncertainty in the housing market, that's an opportunity to buy. It means that sellers are going to provide seller concessions. It means, which is, you know, some funds from the seller to help you pay for closing costs. It means that you won't have to pay way over the listing price. For most markets, which we're seeing, that's what the dynamics are today. So it gives you an opportunity to find a property, but that's only if these other factors are right for you. So let, let's go through them. First, job stability. Job stability is critical. If you're seeing issues where your company's laying people off and you're concerned it could hit you, that's a, usually a big red flag to say, now is not the right time for me to take on additional debt or to go into a mortgage where I'm stuck with this house for X period of time. The other part of that is, could things change with your income? So like, as an example, are you earning a lot of overtime, but now the company might be scaling some of that back? Are you straight commission? If you're straight commission or if a part of your money's on bonuses or things, we average that over two years. So we're gonna look at what that decline in income is. And if you're looking saying, hey, my income year over year has gone down pretty dramatically, that's gonna be a red flag to the, a mortgage lender. And we're gonna say, Maybe we can't use that income at all. So really talk to your mortgage lender about that. And ensure that they're seeing what the long-term history of your income is because that'll give them a much better feel for whether or not that'll go through underwriting and are they using the amount that's um, doable for you to get qualified. But if you're seeing it go down, now is probably not the right time to take on additional debt. So looking at that job stability, how will this recession impact your company and your position, your hours, or any variable comp is critical. The other thing to consider is inflation, right? Inflation is really high for all of us. It's impacting everybody. And so you might be impacted, however, more than the everyday person. So we work from home a lot. It's a nice benefit of the job. So it means we don't have to put as many miles on our car. You might be in your car a ton. It might be a major part of what you do. And so gas prices are impacting you a lot more than others. So weigh out for you, how has inflation changed your spending? Are you now putting more money on credit cards? Are you unable to put money away in savings? If those things are happening because of inflation, well, increasing your rent payment by buying a higher, let's say a, a home that's more expensive, you know, and now your monthly out goes even higher, is, isn't a good time to do that. It'd be better to say, let me wait until my, my uh, mortgage uh, re relative house, right? My, my fi financial house is in order. And that's a good way for you to kind of say, how much is inflation and the prices of such impacting us as a family and, and, and my spending. Then if let's say those, those two things are in perfect shape, right? My job is great. And inflation's not impacting me all that much. Then we want to look at finding the right home and finding the right timing. So there's a lot of people out there who are going to give you their opinion and they're, they're going to say, let me show you the fancy graphs and these, these cool flashy slides. And frankly, they get a whole lot more views than do I. But many of them are selling the negative. By selling the negative, there, there's an advantage. It's, it's clickbait. It, it does really, really well to get people to click on it because it, it provokes fear. And when we're fearful, that's when we're attracted to the information. And that's why those things seem so palatable, so good, right? But when you think about the home, a home is two things. It's shelter 
and it's an asset. But a home should also be a third thing, right? You should enjoy it. You, you should really look at the home and say, I'm, I love why I bought it. I love living here. And so as a home, when you buy it, one, you're replacing the shelter that you're in today. And two, you're starting up with an asset. But if you're buying and you're looking and saying, I'm going to only do it for those two reasons. And I plan on maybe in a year I'll sell it or two years I'll sell it. Well, then that brings in all that uncertainty of what happens with a housing downturn. And while I don't think a housing downturn or a major fall is coming, none of the information I'm reading is saying that except for a very few far outliers and most of them are people that are clickbait folks. And so what I'm looking at is saying some markets will slow down. Some markets will slow more than others. But if you're looking at the home under the right time horizon, a seven year time horizon is about what you want to be looking at for a house. So you want to be saying, that's the home I can see myself in. We can raise kids there. We can do, you know, whatever those factors are in your life. And if you're looking at the house and you're saying, I can't imagine living there for that period of time, then that's probably the wrong house. So whether the deal is there or not, I would wait. If you look at the house and you go, I like it, it's close to work, it's, it, it, you know, it faces the right direction. Like, for instance, our, our house, it, you know, I, I wish it back to open space, but it doesn't. And that was one of my major downsides of buying this house when we did. But we were pressed on housing. We had to make a decision quickly. So because we did, I had to take off one big thing that I wanted off the house. And in today's market, you should have to do less of that. You should, in most markets, have the ability to start to bide your time and look and say, for the next seven years, where do I want to live and does this fit what's happening with my family? If it does, then if a downturn happens, you'll outrun it. If a downturn drops and home prices fall by 20%, Every single recession we've had since 1960 has been precipitated by housing price increases that increased very rapidly shortly thereafter. The only one that that didn't was right after 2007, 2008, and that's because it took a while to get through the home inventory that had built up because there wasn't enough, uh, to, enough demand. So. Until we got through that, that inventory, we weren't able to drive back up housing prices. But every other recession, it did. So if you're buying and saying, I'm going to be in the home long enough, you'll be fine. You'll have the opportunity to outrun any of those um, market downturns. And so, hey, are there other opinions out there? There absolutely are. And, and you know, certainly, I would weigh out those. But have a conversation with an educated lender who's looking at saying, what are your financial stipulations? What's happening in your life? And is this the right time for you to buy? And is this the right situation for you to buy? So that's the best take I can give you. I hope that that works for you. Look forward to talking to you the next time.